Band Footage Volume 1, the first DLC pack for Resident Evil 7, is now releasing around the world. In it, players can take on two new tapes that offer unique challenges and game modes for players to survive. In this video, we'll show you how to complete the Bedroom Tape DLC in Resident Evil 7, which tasks players with escaping a bedroom in the Baker residence without being detected. In this tape, players once again take on the role of Clancy, the infamous cameraman first seen in Resident Evil 7's beginning hour demo. You awake in a bedroom chained to the bed. Margaret drops off a plate of food, then leaves the room. As soon as she leaves the room, pick up the spoon and use it to unlock the shackle. Now take the lantern that hangs beside the bed. From here, move to the dresser and take the lighter from the inside of the vase. Do not open any of the drawers, as this will cause noise. Turn around and look for a clock resting on the other side of the bed. Interact with it to obtain the broken clock hand. You can use the broken clock hand to pick the lock on the massive grandfather clock in the corner. Inside you will find Untitled Painting A. As soon as you grab the Painting A, the grandfather clock will go off, alerting Margaret. Shut the clock and hang the lantern back up. You have about a minute before she shows up, so get into the bed and lock yourself back into the shackle. Once Margaret leaves again, use the spoon to unlock the shackle and take the lantern once more. There are two more paintings in the room to collect. Grab Untitled Painting B off the barrel to the left of the bed, and the Untitled Painting C can be found already hanging on the wall over the table with all the candles on it. Arrange them in the correct order using the outlines on the wall. The correct order is Painting B, Painting C, and then Painting A. Putting the paintings in the right order will reward you with the needle, which can be found sticking out of the doll below the paintings. Head back to the clock by the bed and set it to 5. This will reveal a secret door. Read the note next to the door. The noise once more draws Margaret's attention to the bedroom. Move the clock time back to hide the door and return the paintings to their original spots. Put the lantern back on the bottom hook and then climb back into bed. You'll have another minute or so to pull this off, so don't feel too rushed. Just make sure everything gets back into the right place. This time around, Margaret brings you a new tray of, uh, delicious goodies. When she leaves, pick up the fork and the stove. Climb out of bed, grab the lantern, and open up the combination lock on the door. The combination is snake fig apple. Head into the next room and use a fork to open up the bottom drawer of the wardrobe. Inside, you'll find a solid fuel. Combine the solid fuel and the stove together. Remove Untitled Painting B from the barrel and replace it with the newly combined solid fuel stove. Now, light it with the lighter. This will cause one of the wine bottles to explode. Take the corkscrew out of the top wine bottle. Margaret is alerted once more and you'll need to return things to the way they were. Remove the stove from the barrel and replace it with Untitled Painting B. Replace the lantern on the bottom hook besides the bed. Climb back into bed and strap yourself in. You only have 40 seconds this time around, so make it fast. Once she leaves, climb back out of bed and grab the lantern. This time around, use the corkscrew to remove the cork holding the lantern hook in place. With the cork removed, pick up lantern hook A. Now head into the next room and do the same with lantern hook B. With both lantern hooks in your inventory, combine them together to make the iron statuette. Head back into the first room and look behind the dresser for the knife. With the knife in tow, return to the storage room and use the knife to cut the tape on the projector. This will allow you to place the lantern inside. Interact with the first pedestal and use the fork. Move it around until it fills the snake head in the image. Now interact with the second pedestal and use the iron statuette to fill in the outline of the side of Medusa's head. This completes the shadow puzzle and opens up the birdcage closest to the image. Head over and grab the snake key inside. After grabbing the snake key, Margaret enters the main room. Pull out the knife and open the door to the main room. A short cutscene will play out. After the cutscene, interact with the clock next to the bed to reveal the secret door once more. Use the snake key on the door and then climb into the tunnel and run for your life. And that wraps up this puzzle. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check our description for more Resident Evil 7 content. And for more guides like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.